Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's jobs is not on my car. It's actually on the Weiss Toyota. Yeah, rear brake caliper is uh, binding yet again. So we decided after we've freed it up a couple of times that we're just going to replace them now. They're only £30 a caliper, so we just do a pair and have done with it. Bleak old November morning. So uh, let's crack on. Right, so these are the parts. I think this is Delphi Technologies. I'm not sure it's actually Delphi themselves. It's a bit misleading, I think. But uh, as long as they do the job, eh? That's a few brake pads and. There we go. Shiny. Wow. Well, let's hope it's not all bling and no thing. That should be alright though. They're the same part number, so I've got these as a pair on eBay. Uh, just under 60 quid, so don't feel that they're too bad. side. Right, let's crack it. Right, so I've set the camera up to try and get the best angle possible. Uh, as you can already see, I've started by clamping the brake line. I then undid the brake line on the caliper. <clears throat> At this point, I've beginning to get into the job and not realizing that um, I'm going to start getting in the way of my own work kind of on the camera but one thing I do notice I don't know if anybody else does how some of these manufacturers put their brake calipers in the most stupid places now I don't know if anybody can un explain to me why on earth as in this one <clears throat> Toyota didn't put the brake caliper <clears throat> between 9 and 12 o'clock as you're looking at it. You can see you've got plenty more room. If you tried putting a socket on the back of the caliper slider pins, you just don't have the room because of the coil on the suspension. So why on earth they did this, I, I really have no idea. So that was taken off with... Um, with spanners in the end. So after knocking the camera over, I found out that the, uh, the camera, the iPhone, had actually stopped working. So I tried resetting it up again, making sure it was videoing, and uh, had another go at it. Now I'd already got one of the brake pads on, one on the back was already on. The front one was a little tight, but it wasn't you know, majorly tight to the point where you had to file anything off. It was a case of just giving it a little wiggle, making sure there's plenty of grease on the back of it, and then slipping her in. And then after that, the caliper just went straight over, no problems, and then um, put in the caliper bolts. And... Uh, then at that point, I've realised that the camera had again stopped working. So I thought I'd try it again on the next, on the other side from fresh.
So now I've actually changed from the iPhone. I'm actually using the um, Samsung video camera now. And I've, again, I set it all up, which I thought was in the right position. But I made the same stupid mistake as I did on the other side. I started getting into the job and then realising that my fat fibre is in the way. So you can a little bit make out what I'm up to here. It's basically the same procedure on this side as it was the other side um, but I was just hoping to get a better um, better footage but as you can see I failed on that one as well but it does get better I do realize a bit later on that um, the call's not going well and change it a little bit Right, so again, I reset the camera up. I thought I was going to get it all in properly this time. But as you can see, the leg had a mind of its own again and decided to protrude into the film a bit. But you can see a little bit more of what I was doing. I do realise in a minute that um, I need to reset the camera again. But it is pretty much basically uh, the same as the other side. This is when you realise you wish you had somebody else helping you. Doing something on your own is not the best way to do it. But it does look nice and nice shiny and new. I should really take these brakes apart and just clean them up and give them a new lease of life. At the moment it's the wife's car and our workhorse. So uh, she should really be treated to a bit, bit of a spruce up I think. Attaching the brake line uh, proved to be a little bit more difficult than the other one. At first, I couldn't understand why, and uh, as you can imagine, this car's 20 years old, um, and they have a delicate little hook system on the washer which goes uh, between the brake pipe and the caliper itself. And for some reason, as part of the brake line itself, has, has broken off due to rust so that washer wouldn't hook over anything um, so usually it keeps it all together while you bring it all together but this was having none of it in the end it all came together um, and it was a case of just doing this up quite tight because I had problems with my own Kia ones where they just kept leaking. Uh, it took a while to do it, but these were basically done up tight first time, didn't leak. Now here I'm, all I'm doing is testing the, the connection. I've got Dad to put his foot on the brake just to make sure it wasn't leaking before we bled the brakes. So here we are, just removing the brake bleed nipple cover. Try not to lose that because uh, it might, it'll just corrode up otherwise and it might, might make your uh, your next job a little difficult. But this is just a standard brake bleeding procedure, even though I'll make a bit of a mess of it, but uh, it's all good. Then a bit of a tidy up making sure you get as much as you can. I left a little bit, I realised, but I did wash it off later. Uh, but then pretty much all that's left to do is just put the brake bleed nipple cover back on and then whack the tyre back on. Yeah, 
The job itself took around about a couple of hours, uh, but that included taking all the tools up to the car park and setting it all up, putting it on the axle stands um, and putting the wheels on and off, etc. So it's not too bad. Give yourself plenty of time if you're going to do the job yourself and just don't pressure yourself. So let's look at the offending items. Ugh. Now that one is absolutely fine. And here we have the one that's not fine. Let's see if I put a bit more light on the subject. There we go. Right. There we go. So this is the one that's sticking. And obviously that one I'll keep as a spare. You never know what's around the corner. But uh, yeah, and also great pads. Let's see, now obviously that one's on the, from the one that was not good. One down well. This one's right, right off. Got our money's worth on that one. But the other ones. The other ones, as you can probably tell from this one. Brilliant. Still got chunks on it, loads of it. So if I ever have this problem again. Brake pads spare that will tide us over. So there you have it, guys. Car's all done, safe, wife's happy, car's clean, and the cost is well quite reasonable actually. It was uh, was it sixty pound for both calipers and twenty quid for brake pads. So all in all, eighty quid. And uh, yeah. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and I will see you on the next one, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Bye bye.